All right, let's talk a little weather right now because uh, Monday already off and going, Blake, and uh, you're tracking some stuff in the next couple of days that's really going to change our moods around here. Certainly, it's going to feel more like the holidays. Yeah. And you know, we may or may not have been listening to some Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey's Christmas album in the Weather Center. Scott Padgett can agree to that. Is that right, Scott? There you go. So we are in full swing over here in the holidays, especially as we head into the coming days. It's going to feel like that with high temperatures, maybe not even getting out of the 40s in some locations. So it's certainly a big weather pattern change ahead. As we take a live look out over the Dallas skyline, say goodbye to these bright blue skies because tomorrow we are overcast and then the rain moves in all day, sun up to sun down as we head into Wednesday and then things clear out just in time for that upcoming weekend. Temperatures right now 78 degrees in Dallas, same here in Fort Worth, Denton, 74 degrees there in Bridgeport. Pretty much everywhere you look, holding in those upper 70s this afternoon. All under those mostly clear skies. Nationwide, not too much going on. A little rain pushing through Missouri, but what I want to draw your attention to is the action out here across the West Coast. That is our storm system that's going to be working its way into Texas as we head into Tuesday night into Wednesday, bringing a wide swath of rain into the state. And that is certainly going to be some welcome news because, as Luke Bryan once saying, rain is a good thing as long as you don't get too much of it. Now, the chilly air is certainly going to filter in quickly behind that front and is going to feel very wintry around here. As we head into the day on Wednesday. Here is a look, close look at that future track. You'll see the future sky, I should say. You'll see that as 7 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, we could already start off with some wet roadways across the area. That rain begins to pick up in earnest as we head into the lunch hour and then heading into the afternoon hours as well. So, again, Wednesday looking like a very wet day across the Dallas Fort Worth area. How much rain are we talking? Well, generally a half to about as much as an inch of rain for most locations. I think areas down towards Corsicana and Terrell and areas to the east of there could pick up as much as maybe three inches of rain. So something we will continue to watch. Regardless, even those areas that do pick up three inches of rain, this is not going to be a flooding event being how, how uh, dry the ground is. We should be able to absorb all of this water pretty efficiently. Future track temperatures. What I want you to draw, what I want to draw your attention to here is heading into the afternoon hours. Again, we're in the 70s. We've got this stationary front draped across the top of us here. But by tomorrow morning, we're in the 50s and 60s. But with that front sitting over the top of us, areas to the north of I-30 will stay generally in the 50s and 60s tomorrow. That does include Dallas, Fort Worth. And those of you watching from, say, Waxahachie, Hillsboro, and Corsicana, you could be as cool as the upper 60s to as warm as the upper 70s. So I think the further north you are, the cooler those temperatures are going to be. Heading into tomorrow afternoon. Now, by Wednesday, things really get chilly around the area. In fact, by 3 30, look at this 51, 54 here in Dallas, uh, same in Fort Worth. 54 degrees there in Waxahachie. So regardless, looks like everybody stays in the low 50s for daytime highs heading into your Wednesday. And the model here, what we're looking at, the GFS, the Euro, the National Weather Service, and what we've come up with here at Channel 11, you'll see generally all of us in agreement here with 50s heading into your Wednesday and into Thursday. So regardless, it's going to be a chilly couple of days. The rain is also going to wash the pollen out of the air heading into Wednesday, so we shouldn't have too many issues with that. And over the next seven days, once we get past Wednesday and Thursday, the weather really turns nice. And you know what, Ken? It's the best weekend of the year because it's the longest weekend of the year, a 49-hour weekend. Don't forget to roll those clocks back.